Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, I'll show you how to highlight a bar chart dimension value based on current selections. This approach will be visually intuitive and also helps the user to focus on what they are looking at. Let's use two colors. We will be using the default color and then the green color. When nothing is selected on the bar chart dimension, we would see the default color. If the user selects a value, then the bar chart dimension field is highlighted in green color. So let's jump into click view and let's see how we can do this. So there are five basic things you need. First one is the four functions we will be using to achieve this functionality. Number one, concat match function, get selected count, and then color functions. We will also be using the if statements and one variable, and this can be optional. And we will also be using the dollar sign expansion along with the background color chart attributes. So let's start with the concat function. We need to create a delimited string which holds all the distinct values of a specific dimension. So let's start with the concat function. We need to create a distinct. So let's start with the concat function. We need to create a delimited string. So let's start with the concat function. We need to create a delimited string which holds all distinct values of a specific dimension field. So let's go ahead and create a simple chart first. Let's click on charts and then select the bar chart. Click on next and then I'll select month as dimension. Click on next and use the simple expressions. Mount and hit OK and hit finish and just to make sure I'll hit the clear button so we see everything in here. So we have the bar chart here and if you select something you are actually filtering down the data on the month field. I'll add the month field here. Okay and uh, let's go ahead and look at the first expression. Before we do that I'll make this as one full set and hit apply. So now you hit it, you will see the values are selected on the right hand side list box, but nothing is happening on the chart. However, what we wanted is we wanted uh, to highlight a specific month when you make a selection on this list box or when you click on the chart itself. So let's come back to the concat function. So let's go ahead and put a simple text box and create the concat function text box. This is our working text box. We'll get rid of it once we have the functionality. Distinct and then month. And then I would say my delimiter would be comma. So now we have list of months in here. All of them are distinct values. So go ahead and copy this expression and let's go to variable overview window. So let's go to variable overview window. And let's add a simple variable. Uh, I'll call it v my string, and uh, probably I'll get rid of it, and then add it as v my string month, so that you know that it's it's related to the month field. And let's put this expression here. I'll get rid of the equal to sign before the expression. I'll get rid of the equal to sign before the expression, and then hit OK. Now let's come back and let's put that variable in here. V my string month, you would see the expression. Fair enough. And now let's use the dollar sign. And we will be getting all the distinct months. Okay, that's great. And now let's go ahead and go to the chart properties and uh,
let's go to the chart properties and let's look at the chart attributes and let's look at the color attribute and here I would write the, write the match function first to match we wanted to match the month field and then we will be using v my string but that is with the dollar sign expansion with an equal to sign and let's close this bracket here so we have this so the match function will check if this value is available within the string or not so now as we have done that let's comment this we'll come back to this in a minute let's build the logic so now let's go ahead and write an if statement if now let's go ahead and delete this if this value returns the one if this value returns one then we will be using green color or let's use probably click tech gray and then let's hit OK we're not done yet but we will see the progress hit apply and hit OK so when nothing is selected it's almost equal until everything is selected so now let's go ahead and select this you see that it's working basically so when you select something the chart dimension values are highlighted in green and you can also when you make the group of selections you will see them coming through here because the match function is checking within that delimited string and then it's returning the value one and if the value is one they're highlighted in green color if not they are in gray color so this works great you can select whatever values you would like to and this this works perfect assume that when nothing is selected uh, you will still see the green color as when nothing is selected it still returns one value for each one of them so to avoid this problem or to avoid this conflict or issue let's go back to properties and change the expression slightly so we'll add if statement one more if statement and this time let's use get selected count of month month is greater than or equals to one comma then this or you can just leave nothing so you can close it here now if you see here when you sorry let me go back slight change we don't want the blue color we wanted the gray color so let's go back and select the gray color here and say gray there we go So now when nothing is selected it's all gray color but when you select something this will turn into green color so you can drag and drop and then it just works perfect so this is this is very simple functionality but very very intuitive when you wanted to highlight a specific bar charts based on the current selections probably you might wanted to use it to highlight the previous business date so every day when you're reloading the data uh, for the previous business day you wanted to highlight what's the most recent date you can highlight that in green color so the logic will be same instead of defining uh, the variable from current selections you can define it based on the max date I hope this all makes sense. I'll post this expression on my blog. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.